So one of the features that we really like about the Pure IDX websites is how fast they are, how easy they are to run, and they're basically what we consider a cloud-based website. Everything runs on the cloud. Well, let's say you have some images and you want to update your site. How do you go about doing that? So I'm going to show you two or three options, okay? So let's say, for example, that we're going to switch uh, this image down here at the bottom of the page. I'm going to show you three different ways to get images. Um, the first one is from a Google Drive. So if I have an image in my Google Drive, I can come over here to the image and right click on it and get shareable link. Okay, so now I want to make sure this is green here. So then I'll just copy this and I'll put it in the spreadsheet and I'm going to put it right here on this spot. So I'll go to where this image is and I'll replace it with that. And the only thing is this needs to be changed. This has the word open in it. Every one of these images has the word open and we need to switch it to UC. So it's kind of like you see the image, okay? So if you don't put that in there, it won't load properly. So now we come back over here. We reload the page. And down here at the bottom, now we have this image. So that's, that's great. So that's from Google Drive. Another way to do it is to get an image from Imager. So I'm going to show you how to add an image to Imager. And this is the same way you would actually add an image to your Google Drive. Let's just go find an image that we like. Like, let's say we go somewhere like unsplash.com. And these are free high resolution photos. Anybody can use them. So I want um, kitchen. I should, probably should have put kitchen design. But we'll take uh, just the word kitchen. I've actually used this one before. So let's take this one. This is a nice one. Um, we'll click on it. And you can download it for free. So it's right here on my uh, computer. Let's open it. And I'm using a tool called Preview. So I'm going to adjust the size. Most of these pictures, if you look how huge this is, it's almost 6,000 uh, pixels across. So that's just kind of really too big for, for websites. So 1,200 is usually a good, a good size. So I'm going to resize this to be 1,200 pixels. Okay, and then I'm going to save that change. The other thing I want to do is say on this, we want to make it about 533 pixels. So you can see right there on the side, maybe on there, it's 533. And I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit because... Okay, then I'm going to crop it. So that's exactly 533 by 1200. Uh, I'm going to rename this to just be... Um, kitchen design and we'll save that so now we have that here what I'm going to do now is take it to another website this may sound like a lot of hassle but you're only going to put you know a handful of pictures on your website so you want to get them really good so here's the kitchen design and you can see it's 133 kilobytes, which is a pretty good size. That's not bad for as big as that is. But I'm going to put it on uh, tiny PNG anyway and see if I can get a significant... Look at that. That's 53% that's of the size. So I'm going to change this to Kitchen Design 1. And then we'll just uh, download this. Okay, so now I have that image. So I'm actually going to come back here. I've got that image. It's all optimized, resized. It's ready to go. So I'm going to go here to Imager. And let's uh, put this in. You can see this is 62 kilobytes. So just drag it, pop it in here. 
and now here's this image. I can add it to an album or I can do a lot of things here, but basically what I just want to do is get this direct link. So this is hosted at Imager. I don't have to have it on my computer or my server or anywhere like that. So now when I come in here to the spreadsheet and I say, well, let's change that hero image. Um, here it is. Then, oopsies. Oh, not doing it right. Let's do it right there. So I'm going to replace it with that. Let's go back and reload that page. And you can see, looks like I'd need to, there we go. So there's that kitchen image in there, brought over from tiny PNG. And I, as I look at that, I think it might be, you know, a little pixelated. Maybe I should have left it a little bit larger. But we're just doing this for a demo. The third way, so that's putting it in Imager. And the third way I want to show you is just pulling one off of a website. You go to your website or anywhere else and you say, hey, I want to, let's do this image. So I get, just get the link to that. And uh, I can put it in here, hit enter. And now when I come back over here to the website, you can see that I'm using this image. Again, now this text would probably need to be changed to be white or something like that so that it, it works with it. But you can see how easy it is to either host images on your Google Drive, on Imager, or you can just pull them off of your other website if you want. The, the deal is, is that if they're optimized, like the one we put on Imager, run through tiny PNG, um, you're just going to get a lot more speed for your page to load. So these can be loaded here, they can be loaded up on an Amazon S3 bucket or anywhere you want to put your pictures and uh, we can just load them right into your website. So that's how to load images into a Pure IDX website.